Tales Early On families. Welcome to Science Wonders with Edna. This morning, I told the story, One Dog Canoe by Mary Casanova, except I used little props. And we use this as our canoe. And as our story went along, there were more and more animals added to our canoe. And when it got too heavy, it sunk into the water. So this afternoon for Science Wonders, we're talking about things that float and things that sink. And why some things float and why some things sink. Let's get started. Today, we are going to be making predictions and we're going to mark our predictions on our sheet. I have a list of all the objects we are going to test to see if it's going to sink or it's going to float. If it's going to sink, we're going to put a yes with an S for sinking. Or if we think it's gonna float, we're gonna put an F for yes. First of all, I have three types of wood. Do you think these pieces of wood will sink or float? They kind of feel light. Is that going to make my decision for me? I think things that are light probably will float. So we're going to put that on our prediction sheet. We're going to say, yes, they are going to float. So put an F under the yes for floating. Then we have some seashells, different shapes of seashells. Do we think that they will sink or float? Hmm. This one feels a little heavy and these ones feel light. Well, they're seashells. Do you think they'll sink or float? Are you guessing that they will float? Okay, we'll put an F for float. Next, I have a toy boat made of plastic. It's very light too but it's solid. It's got no empty spaces. Do we think it'll sink or float? Float? Because it's a boat? I think you're right. Let's try float. So far, we think everything's going to float. Now, oh, a marble. Do you see the big marble? Oh, it feels heavy. Do you think it will sink? Or will it float? Hmm. It's heavy, so we think it's going to not float. It's going to sink. Now, we have some rocks here. What do you know about rocks? Rocks are a little bit like marbles, aren't they? They feel about the same. Do you think they're going to float? Or do you think they're going to sink? Hmm. Let's see. I wonder. I think you're right. I think they're going to put our S on our marking. Oh, a cork. I have all kinds of corks here. Different sizes. Do we think the corks will sink or float? Let's try this big one. Oops, my papers are flying. What do you think about that big cork? Oh, it feels pretty light. But that might be deceiving. Things that are heavy can float and things that are light. So we think that the cork will float. All right. Now, this is a metal cube. 
Do you think the metal cube will sink or float? Watch when I drop it. Oh, drops pretty fast. If I drop my cork, how fast does it drop? Not too fast. The cork is lighter than the cube. The cube is heavy. The cube is heavier than the marble. And we thought the marble is going to sink. So shall we put down that the cube will sink? Okay, let's try it. We're going to put the cube is not going to float. It's going to sink. Now I have a key here. This key is feeling pretty light. As a matter of fact, my cork feels heavier than my key. We said that the cork was going to float. Do we think that the key is going to float? Okay, let's put it down. It's pretty light. We think that it's going to float. All right, and my last is a piece of fabric. Again, it's pretty light. Do we think the fabric will float on top of the water? Or do we think that it will sink into the water? We think it's going to float. Okay. There's our chart with all our predictions. We think most of our things are going to float and just a few of them are going to sink. Well, let's test out our theories and find out. Looking for the answer. Well, boys and girls, what did we just learn? Let's look at our predictions. We predicted that the wood would float. Were we right? Yes, that was correct. We predicted that the seashells would float. Did the seashells float? No, we were wrong. They did not float. What about our toy boat? Did our toy boat float? It did. Yes, that was a good prediction. And what about our marble? We said our marble was would sink, and we were right. 
We said our rocks were, would sink, and we were right. What about our cork? Did it float? Did our big giant cork float? It sure did. It floated. What about our metal cube? Do you remember the metal cube? Did it sink or did it float? You're right, it did sink. And our key. We thought our key was lighter than our cork, so it was going to sink or float, but it sank. We weren't right on that one. And our fabric, boys and girls. We said our fabric was going to float. And we were right to start. So we were half right and half wrong. Because look what's happening to our fabric. The wetter our fabric is becoming, the more it is sinking. So why is our fabric sinking? Our fabric is sinking because of what we call density. Water has a density and all our objects have a density too. And when our water density is different than our object's density, then our object will either sink or float. So in the case of our fabric, when there was no water in the fabric, it was very light. And as our fabric absorbed water, it got heavier and heavier and heavier. And the heavier it got, the more dense that fabric became. It became denser than the water and so it sank to the bottom. Now that reminds me of our story this morning. Our story was about a canoe that was supposed to be for its owner and one dog going on a ride. But then the beaver came along. He wanted to ride too. And the swan came along and wanted to come for the ride. The wolf came along, said he'd go for the ride. And then a bear came along. He decided he would go for the ride too. As each animal joined in the canoe, just like our fabric, it started to sink lower and lower into the water. Then Moose, he decided he was coming on the canoe trip too. And he made the canoe sink really deep. It was just at the edge of the water, was creeping up the side of the canoe and sitting right there. And then Frog decided to leap on board and the moment Frog leaped on board, the boat got so heavy, heavier than the water, that it started to sink. As I put this canoe into our water, let's see what happens. It sank right to the bottom. But if I empty out our canoe and put it on top, it floats. Look at that. Because it's lighter now. So the more we add to the canoe, the heavier it gets. Look, boys and girls, the side of the canoe, it can hardly hold up all these animals and it sinks. The density of the water is less than the density of 
all these animals and the canoe combined. Well, boys and girls, sinking and floating, things that will float are have less density than the water they're floating on. Sing, things that will sink are more dense, they're heavier than the water that they are floating on. So we made some very good predictions, boys and girls, and we learned that some things can start out as floating, but as weight gets added to them, their density changes and they can end up sinking, just like the canoe in our story. <laughs> you could create your own predictions chart and find your own objects and test out our sink and float science. Let me know in the comments section or post me a picture if you were able to recreate our science experiment. That's what science is all about, is recreating the experiment to see what works and what does not. Thanks for joining me.